Hello everybody and welcome back to the sound of my annoying voice. Uh, we are continuing with our playthrough of Faraday... I forgot what to call. <laughs> uh, I actually just had to replay through some of the previous puzzles that we'd done because the game didn't autosave there. So that was, that was good fun. Uh, but I've just done them. I was able to play through them a lot quicker this time. And we're resuming where we left off. Uh, interesting that this statue is holding one of these energy transference devices. Uh, it was a cool little detail that I noticed when I came through here the first time. Um, and just a heads up, I am playing this uh, shortly after the filming of the first one. So if you have left any feedback or anything like that, I won't have had a chance to see it just yet. Um, so I'm going to continue as I was um, and let's see what we can do this room is massive compared to anything else we've seen in this game so far certainly in the in the trials okay Okay, there's quite a lot going on here. Oh, there's a... Oh, well, we found our second secret. That's pretty cool. So we have this to begin with, and there is a button here. What does the button do? Okay, the button's a way of returning the power to this point, so I guess we can't uh, sort of soft lock ourselves out of anything by firing the somewhere it shouldn't be. Okay, that was a uh, pretty intuitive use of the bounce system. We now have this. Okay, we've opened up the inside, the first chamber here. This is activated to get us on top of here. Now, the question is where do I need to go, especially from here? It looks like these panels will come out of the wall. Who knows what activates them though? I try this, right? that do anything? No secrets hiding behind here. Yeah, I feel like that didn't do much of anything uh, apart from leaving me trapped in here. So... Can I... I guess that didn't really make too much of a difference. Um, interesting that you can do that though. So we can... We have access to a blue and an orange. Obviously we have access to that. That gets opened up. But what we need is... Well, we need to be able to access anything else. So... Ah. I'm not sure how I didn't spot that the first time.
So here we need a blue. So we do need to switch you into there. So, okay, that's simple enough. Okay, we've powered this. Up we go. Oh, that's interesting. That actually kind of looks like a sarcophagus of some sort. So we have this tiny little room off to the side, which has nothing because there's no power to it. Same here and same here. Um, can we do anything in our current situation out here? I can miss the. All right. Okay. Have to go back around here. And yeah, okay, that means we can jump up on here and then to there, but then obviously we can't do anything past that. So, whatever we need to do is in here. We can presumably, yep, yeah, we can take that. We can connect these two. I'm not sure what that sound was. Um, that is actually our only energy we can use. So maybe something new has happened out here. Does not look like it. if it was a timed thing. No. Okay, this uh yeah this episode's off to a good start. Perhaps has that been positioned exactly just so I can't oh maybe Ah oh. No, it is not the case. There must be a way Oh, well we can take this through these ah oh. well that was stupidly simple okay I opened a platform and a button well that did something Interesting is that. Huh. This thing. Oh. Is that something that I was missing last time? So if I take this, connect this. That thing moves. Ah, of course. Mm. 
So we can... I see. Uh, it has to be timed right though. Because we can turn that orange. So I think that, yeah, there's a degree of timing to this. So we get that over there. And now we quickly go... We take that. Ah! Okay. We're going to try again then. Maybe it's based on how long you leave it there. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, I guess. It is based on time. So now that's been powered which has given us an orange to use out here does that help us well, that looks like it could use an orange hey there we go it activated the stairs uh, Also on a timer, luckily not a self-made timer. Alrighty, wow, okay. There's some stuff happening in here. Ah, okay. So it not only opens that, but it opens this. Which... Seems you're basically trapped in here once you activate, once you've been in here for a certain amount of time. This is definitely the first part of the puzzle. You need to open up this, because it opens up this big window. You can't touch that. Okay, so blindly firing that into there. I wasn't even sure it was lined up to the right place, but you know what? I'll take it. Ah, oh, did I mess up? I think I messed up. Although, I guess it doesn't, because we can just do that and it goes right back. Yeah. And now, if we take this back, open this, we now have a blue, which, oh, interesting. Okay. 
Okay, we have... Ah, it's powered. We now have... Okay, that was super disorientating. We have four ways to go. No way looks any particularly better than the others. Let's go this way. Test nine completed. Congratulations, recruit. Test nine completed. Oh, wow. That's the drone Driven thing we saw initially. Successful. Welcome, recruit. As expected of you, you have now reached the Golden Hall. As a blue, you will now proceed to clear the final stages of Cigarette One in order to advance. Please, come forward. What does it mean, clear the final stages? This is a representation of the creation of the Golden Council under the Cardinal Skong. The Ten Golden Skongs were the first to be created in her image. They will guide all the validated scones throughout the entire colonization procedure and will later join you to become the leaders of the respective selected colonies. This is incredible. Alpha Centauri A, Tau Ceti, 82 Meridini, Delta Pavonis, New Phoenices, 18 Scorpi, Sigma Draconis, Aurigae, Ursi Majoris, and Leonis Minoris. Ships 4, Alpha Centauri A, Tau Ceti, have already departed. Being validated on a piece will grant you a position on the next ship towards 82 Meridini. The final stages of Cigarette 1 are now accessible. Please proceed through the open door. Centauri, Ceti, Eridani. I've never heard of any of these star systems. Just where in the universe am I? And if only two ships have departed, what happened to the rest of these scones? That is very interesting. So I recognize the name of, well, at the very least, Centauri. Because that's uh, one of our closest star neighbors is Alpha Centauri. It's interesting that you have all these different... It's like a slug. A slug man, a fox, a snake, a fly, a bird, and a different bird. That's a also, well, maybe that's the spider. That's probably the spider. A frog, a cat, or a raccoon, maybe. And then a Cthulhu. <laughs> that's pretty standard. I'm curious what this door's for. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any way to open it. Not unless it's a secret button on any of these. I wonder if the drone is alive, whether the drone is sentient. Oh, they've actually got all the different ones here. Well, two different models. Okay, they get that symbol, the game actually auto saved, and this is chapter three. Alright. So, thinking back on that last section, uh, I feel like I didn't do that very well. Uh, took a long time. I'm starting to get a grasp of this place. It is now clear to me that this was once a testing facility for beings called Skonks, and that they were being trained for space colonization, although something must have gone wrong. The recorded messages describe an incomplete process. I'm sure we'll learn the fate of these beings eventually. Um, so we've introduced a new mechanic in this puzzle. We have uh, these bridges, which are presumably are going to be powered in a similar way to everything else in this. Uh, so we can activate this up here. Uh, it looks like we just need to activate this orange in order to open this door. So perhaps... Yep. Okay. 
there's a blue and that's powering this uh, symbol here this I see both of these presumably need to be powered in order for that to be the case but we also need to power this uh, so okay so there's two different symbols in there I see yeah so we need to find a way of powering the other one which means we need to power that uh, can I walk over these? No, just fall through. Okay. Uh, have I just soft locked myself? Ah. Is there a button to press on this like there was on the other one? No. So the question is, have I just screwed myself, or... Oh no, I can see it from here. That's okay. Well, okay, let's open up this. Let's see what's behind here. Ah! Free energy. Free blue energy. Where is it that accepts blue? Is it you? Yes. Okay. So, we power you again. And go up here. Um. I wonder if I'm holding. Yes, okay. So, it works exactly the same way as the. as the, uh, you know, the barriers between the doors. Fantastic. Well, let's put you there for now. Okay, so we can freely convert energy types here. But what is it we need? I think we need another orange, so perhaps convert you. So we have orange. Uh, might as well put you over there. Don't need this open anymore. Now we can come down here. Power this. take it that door is now open we can take this so we can cross the bridge we can't keep it though test 10 completed my compliments recruit okay this one is looking equally as complicated, but let's... Okay, so we can't access this uh, unless we... We get a blue across here, and that connects to this wire. Which might power that thing. And something else up there, perhaps. Alright, well this is powered. Let's have a look up here. Okay, yes, yeah, so that will open this if we can power it. Uh, there's nothing up here to be gained by shooting to that. So we can take that for now and use it to open this. Alright, that's interesting. So I'm guessing no secrets in here um, that we can convert ah uh, interesting it's like there's another room behind there I wonder if that is connected to this but either way I don't think we can actually do anything with that yet um, yeah because there's nothing Nothing round here. I mean, is there a benefit to just doing this? So it activated that, which then moved the... Uh, did that do anything, is the question. 
nothing we can interact with which is the problem okay I'm missing something fundamental here like maybe how to get this door open because that's the problem you can't access the energy once it's there I feel like I'm missing something very obvious. I mean, there's a button on that wall there, but I need to actually get up there first. Um, this seems like it's our only way of progressing, but there's no. We could like simultaneously do that. Okay. Um Okay, so immediately after I stopped the recording just a second ago, I realized that whether this is allowed or not, I'm not sure. But I can take the energy through here and go down here. Which brings me up here. Now this is a whole different thing, but it looks like these two are connected in you know, in a slightly different way. And these are the connections which are going through the wall uh, that, that I pondered over. <laughs> okay, so I, I've activated this, which has opened this. Maybe that's not the most useful thing for that at the second. Let's do this. Okay, we can go up here and take the blue so we can walk across here and then we can connect that so this opens free orange energy right so now I can probably take this as well and this should take me back up here I can push that button but I don't know if it did anything it probably has to be powered or something. Okay, but now we have interesting. I can no longer access that piece of orange energy which is going through there. So I've just converted. I now have this blue, which I can probably use here. Okay, fantastic. And now we'll we power this. This is now open. Oh, it was just that one bit. Like, it seems like that was something I wasn't supposed to do, because I kind of had to angle myself right behind the door there, and like there was a tiny little window for me to steal the energy through that gap. Uh, so I'm not sure if that was the intended solution, but. Okay, so I think I activated that, so this door's now open. Um, with this activated, there's something on the other side of there that I need to I need to gain the energy from. Um, if I maybe take this, <clears throat> and I push this button now, yes, okay, there it is.
I'm not sure I have all the steps in this lined up correctly but if I take this energy fire it no no that doesn't work oh, I just messed up pretty sure I messed up because now the energy is just like Okay, well that's, that's not a problem though, because I can just carry on as I was. Um, Alright. Oh, I was able to make that jump earlier. Try again. to go and push that button again. Ah, oh, look at me being stupid when I could have just done that. I mean, now my store's open. So what I need now is a piece of orange energy and to fire it there. But where do I obtain this energy? That is the question. Because I can't use that. I mean, if I take this... Like, let's open that door back there, but now I can't get up. I... yikes. I've made a mistake here. I wonder why this now has a... oh, you can crouch. Now has a field around it. Guess I don't need that. But I mean, there's no way to get it back. Does this do anything? I think I literally just took power from there. Does that actually do anything? It activates that. But that's not entirely useful. Ah. Okay, sorry for another small jump there. I realised that I'd made a mistake, so I restarted the puzzle. Uh, and basically at this point where I pushed this button last time, uh, I, I think I jumped down from here um, and that made it impossible to progress basically 
because I couldn't get back up to this platform. Um, but with that in place there, and I, I have energy currently in my device, um, what I should be able to do is power this, take that energy, and jump across, fire their doors open. So it was very simple, like I just, I, I tried skipping a step or, you know, just forgot the fact that there's this, this platform made it a one-way trip, so to speak. So I actually need to take a piece of energy with me, which is, oh, all right, going up. Test. Level completed, but going recruit. That was probably one of the more difficult ones that I've dealt with so far. Um, but it's good, it's a challenge, it's encouraging sort of logical thinking. Uh, that's my favourite type of puzzle game, really. So, we have three more of these sarcophagi. Uh, looks like they all have... This is like a mess of blue energy waiting to happen. But they all open, so... I mean, the only thing we can do at this moment in time is go up. Trigger the autosave. So we have some of this. This is just a way down. Okay. A red energy, or orange energy, rather. Only needs to go here. Okay, we can do that. Um, so, these things do have to be powered. And at the moment, there's no power running to them. Wonder if the power comes from. button perhaps here like it doesn't seem like the power actually comes from anywhere unless sure the purpose of that is let's let's go back up but we have blue so we can walk across this bridge now And that did nothing. Ugh. How did I not spot that? The energy down here has... Now it's powered. Those platforms are powered. Which means you can go and push that button. If only we had blue. Okay, so... From this side... We can attach you to you. Okay, we have the platforms. We pushed a button, which brought that up. Permanently, I think, I hope. Okay, what else can we do? We need more energy, really. We only have this one one free piece of energy to use. Um, I guess the next step will be connecting this. And it powers these two platforms. But then we hit a wall. So... The only thing I can think is perhaps what's up there and what colour does the energy need to be. Okay, I can't fire blue at it, which is interesting.
Okay, that opened this middle sarcophagus. Oh wow, okay. There's more to this puzzle for sure. <laughs> Hmm, okay. So I've been given this. Makes sense to go for the higher platform, right? If we're holding the orange energy we can go across here. Looks like we need blue. In order to do anything there. Which may be... Let's go across here. What does this do? Help if it actually hit the target. Okay. Opens this. Can I push that button? There we go. Okay, so with this blue, we connect those. Uh, take that back, put it there, take it again, now we can walk across here and push this button, I mean that did something, I'm not sure what, there we go. So it had to be powered. The the button was the end point of the circuit. So we've gained an extra orange. I'll put it. Up. Is there anything else I need to do up here? Doesn't appear so. So I can just drop down. So now we have two oranges and two blues. So what I'm going to do is put oh, two oranges and one blue. Sorry. Put you there. Take you. And maybe you can connect this. Was there not one more piece of energy in here or am I going crazy? There it is. Oh, I see. That has to be lit to open the door in the first place. Okay, well. We've gained something. Let's take this now and power this circuit. This opens. Um, okay. Symbols. There's symbols above that door. It's difficult to tell, but I think it's the... the Burger Man and... kind of like... S-shaped symbol. Uh, not that. And there's the Burger Man. <laughs> That's the S symbol. So let's. This is the right-hand one. So we do that. Now, if we do the same on the other side, connect you. Connect you. heard the door open. Yep, there it is. It's open. So we don't need these powered anymore. What we can do is power this. I think that's everything in this room. We can go up. I mean, we can take one of the blues so we can cross this bridge. And then just reconnect it. And there we go. Puzzle done, that wasn't so difficult. Test 12 completed. Congratulations, recruit. Test 12 completed. Not sure why that's green, so maybe it's being powered closed. Um. Ah. But that is not as exciting as I thought it was. I thought it was going to do something. 
it's being powered off which is very interesting so maybe the fact that it's blue I have a feeling that if I now have blue yes okay it repels it that makes sense kind of looks like some weird like lava storm okay so um thank you very much for watching guys if indeed anyone is uh again if you have any feedback please let me know um i'm having fun with this game i'm gonna keep playing it and i might as well keep recording it as well maybe i can help someone out there solve the puzzles um or you can just watch me be incompetent and fail to do them on my own uh either way thank you very much again guys and i'll see you next time